Hi, this is Brett with OLTD. And I'd like to continue the discussion we started in regards to burnout. Last time we talked about what it is. Now let's talk about the symptoms and how to recognize if you're actually experiencing burnout. We'll start with the feelings. A person can feel tired and irritable. They can be distracted from life and the things going on around them. They also may feel inadequate or incompetent in life situations as well as in the workplace. Next, let's talk about the physical symptoms and signs. A person will have muscle and body aches. Headaches will occur more regularly. Your eating, your appetite changes. Some people may stop having the desire to eat and others may eat to soothe and distract themselves. So weight fluctuations happen regularly. Going to work can make you feel nauseous. These physical effects are real and are noticeable. The emotional effects and signs of burnout are also quite substantial. A person can feel trapped inside their job and inside their life, and this leads to hopelessness. How devastating it is to not be able to feel like an issue can be corrected. And this correlates with depression and the pain that travels with depression. Finally, let's talk about the mental effects of burnout. One has poor concentration. It becomes hard to focus on the priorities of life. Everything seems muddled and too complex, and this leads to indecisiveness and the inability to perform tasks that used to seem routine. Some of the signs and symptoms of burnout overlap with stress. So how do we know if what we are experiencing is burnout or stress? Below is a link that shows the difference between what is burnout and what is stress. The most important thing to know is that help is available. Here in Henrico County, we have EAP, or the Employee Assistance Program, that can help if you feel like you're experiencing one of these symptoms. In the next video, we'll talk about how to prevent burnout from happening.